friends, today we are going to be reading Tora's fairy tale adventure. Let's see what's inside. Once upon a time, Dora and Boots were playing in fairy tale land. Suddenly when Boots wasn't looking, a mean witch cast a spell and turned him into sleeping boots. The people of fairy tale land told Dora that only thing that could wake Boots was a hug from a true princess. Dora was worried. She didn't know any true princesses. I have an idea, exclaimed a friendly dwarf. You can become a true princess and wake up sleeping Boots. The dwarfs told Dora that in order to become a true princess, she had to pass four tests. She had to find the red ring. Then she had to teach the giant rocks to sing. Then she had to turn winter into spring. And finally, she had to bring the moon to the king, queen and king. Dora immediately set off to find the red ring. But it was hidden in a dark and scary cave. Dora didn't want to wake the dragon who lived in the cave. So she quietly tiptoed inside. There she spotted the glow of the red ring. But just as Dora reached for the ring, the dragon awoke. Dora quickly slipped the ring onto her finger. In a flash, the dragon's came turned into a beautiful palace and the mean dragon was transformed into a prince. The prince told Dora that the mean winch had turned him into a dragon. He was so grateful to Dora for setting him free that he gave her a magic music box. This will help you become a true princess, said the prince. Dora thanked him and started to walk down the path towards her next test. Dora came to the giant rocks. How can I teach these rocks to sing? She wondered. Then Dora remembered the magic music box the, that the prince had given her. She carefully turned the handle. The music box started to play the most wonderful tune. The music was so delightful that Dora was sure it would make anyone sing and dance. Boingy, 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 bing. You'll get these rocks to sing, sang the magic box. the giant rocks opened their eyes and then to Dora's amazement they began to dance and sing boingy 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 bing you've taught us how to sing let's sing that all together three two one boingy boingy bing you've taught us how to sing when the song was over Dora told the rocks that she had to be on their way sleeping boots needs my help she said Wait, called the giant rocks as they gave Dora a present. Here's a little bag of sunshine to help you become a true princess. Dora thanked the giant rocks and ran down the path. The sun's rays melted all of the snow and flowers bloomed. Dora started to feel cold. Snow began to fall and the chilly wind whirled around her. I must be in Winter Valley, she thought. How will I turn winter into spring? Suddenly she remembered the little bag of sunshine. Dora opened the bag and a small sun floated up towards the sky. Leaves grew on trees. Birds and butterflies and animals came out to play in the soft new grass. Thanks for turning winter into spring, said the animals. Take this magic hairbrush, said the little rabbit. It will help you become a true princess so you can wake up sleeping boots. At last, 
Dora came to the castle. She climbed the stairs to the top of the high tower. Now Dora faced the hardest test of all. How am I going to bring the moon to the queen and king, she wondered. Dora looked at the, up at the moon and she was going to need some help from her friends. Isa, Tico and Benny heard Dora's call for help, but before they could reach her, the mean which made the stairs to the tower disappear. Then Dora had a wonderful idea. She took out the magic hairbrush and began to brush her hair. With every stroke, her hair grew longer until it hung all the way down to the ground. Dora called down to her friends. Come on, climb my hair. Dora asked Isa, Tico and Benny to help. Her figure on the way to get to the moon. The friends thought hard and soon they had a plan. They called to the stars. The stars twinkled and glowed as they flew down from the sky. When then they made a staircase and that led them all the way back to the moon. Dora climbed and climbed until she reached the moon. Hola Dora said the moon, how can I help you moon? said Dora, I need you to visit the queen and king. When the moon heard about sleeping boots, he agreed to help her and floated down the tower. Dora said the king, you have found the red ring, you have taught the giant rocks to sing, you have turned winter into spring, and you have brought the moon to the queen and king. You are now a true princess. The moon glowed in the star sky and the stars twinkled and rainbows danced through the air as Dora magically turned into a true princess. Hooray for Princess Dora! The king's unicorns flew Princess Dora all the way back to Sleeping Boots. Princess Dora wrapped her arms around Sleeping Boots and gave him the biggest hug ever and then Sleeping Boots opened his eyes. And so Sleeping Boots awoke at last. The mean witch flew so far away and was never seen again and everyone in Fairy Tale Land lived happily ever after. That was such a lovely book. Don't you agree with me, Tom? Yes. I hope we can read another one with you soon. Bye! Bye.